What is going on everybody? I go by the name of Curry and I want to thank you guys for joining me here today on Sneaker Fetish. In 2017, the sneaker world got formally introduced to off-white founder and creative genius, the late Virgil Abloh. And today, we're taking a look at the latest creation, his first original creation that he made with Nike in a sneaker that might be a little jarring to look at, but for me, I like it. Is it one of the top 10? We're going to get into it. Without further ado, let's get into it. Boom. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Nike Air Terraforma by Virgil Abloh for Off-White. I said it was jarring, didn't I? I said that the sneaker was very jarring to look at. First things first, rest in peace to Virgil Abloh, one of the greatest minds in design, streetwear, fashion, art, music, so many different things. Even a year later, we're still feeling the loss and we're still feeling the impact of Virgil Abloh with some of his posthumous releases that we've seen recently. But this one is really special. This one is what I call a magnum opus. If you guys are familiar with kind of what that term means, it kind of means a culmination nation of a life's worth of work that an artist puts into one specific piece, one big moment here. And it kind of feels like that when we look at the Terraforma. Now this sneaker was introduced to us just not really that long ago. It actually hasn't even dropped yet officially on the sneakers app, drops a little bit later this month, but I was able to grab a pair off of the shop drop that happened during the sneakers live event that was going on during Art Basel. There were two designers that were speaking about them working with Virgil Abloh throughout the process of creating this sneaker, as well as some of his other projects that we have loved, like the 50 and some of his other projects even before that. I'll talk a little bit more about that kind of after we look at the shoe a little more in depth, but again, first impressions, I mean, I don't know guys, I kind of like them. They're just that off the wall that I actually like them. Now, I will say this sneaker is heavy. If you guys ever thought a pair of Jordans that you put on felt like a boot, this shoe right here feels like a boot for real. This shoe is very, very heavy. But with all that said, let's dive a little bit into the shoe. All right, now starting with the upper of the shoe, I mean, there's so much to even discuss. I don't even know where we begin. But the first thing I wanna talk about is kind of the overlay of the shoe, kind of what's on the very top layer of the shoe here, which is this really nice neutral colored suede material here. You guys can see that suede wrapping around kind of the collar of the shoe, moving down the eyelids of the shoe, very nice kind of premium feeling suede here. And even going down into the toe box now, the funny thing about the way this suede looks is that it's giving me a little bit of Nike Hirachi vibes. Now the sneakers have said that this shoe takes inspiration from both 80s and 90s silhouettes. And that's what I mean when I talk about kind of this being a magnum opus, because it feels like kind of this, this castle Role, kind of this Frankenstein of all other things, both models and design elements that I think really resonated deeply with Virgil Abloh. And so we've seen other all-terrain looking sneakers being put into these Nike products with Off-White. You look at sneakers like the Zoom Terra Kyger that had mixed reactions, but I liked. And we also look at other sneakers like the Air Force One that recently dropped that had kind of these spikes that we'll talk about in a second in the front. It looked a little different in the back. So Again, on the upper of the sneaker here, it's giving me Hirachi. Now over that suede, we see this zigzag stitched swoosh here on the lateral and medial side. Now it's kind of a trademark now. We see this in a lot of the Air Force One models that Off-White did. All the different colors really also featured that zigzag stitching as well. So we've got that there, but this time again, it's kind of the outline of the swoosh. It's clear, so you can see directly through it here. It's not pronounced, which is different. Now that swoosh of course is accented by the trademark Off-White orange tag here on the back of the swoosh, but let's talk a little bit about what's going on underneath that. So you have mesh underneath where that suede is. And within that mesh, we see kind of this, what they call wood grain pattern here. Now, if you look very closely, that wood grain pattern isn't just digitally put on there, but this is actually material. This is stitching here. This is real thread that's comprising this wood grain within this mesh on the underlay of the shoe. So an incredible job paying attention to details and in the execution of the sneaker. It's all about the details with these, and I like that. Now, sticking with that as well, you also get on the rand of this shoe, wrapping around the toe box, a canvas-like material. So we have mesh, we have this kind of silk feeling threading here that comprises this wood grain. We have suede, and then we have this canvas wrapping around the toe box of the shoe. So we have a lot of different materials. Oh, not to mention also, you can also see the neoprene feeling booty that's in this also kind of steel gray looking color around the collar of the shoe as well. So a lot going on. All right, let's kind of get to the elephant in the room here. The triple 
stacked marbled multicolored midsole on the terra forma. Now, terra actually means land or terrain and forma really means form or shape, right? So when I think about that and I think about the fact that he wanted to make a shoe that was called basically land and shape kind of together, I think about how shapes are really what make this sneaker special. We see some very interesting shapes here and there's no place that this shape is really pronounced than in the weird kind of wavy looking midsole on this shoe. It's striking, it's giving Balenciaga chunky sole, but it actually works because it makes the sneaker kind of round out in all of this fullness with this big chunky midsole with the big chunky outsole. It gives it that boot feel, but it adds this splash of color in here that gives it art, it gives it design, it gives it the true spirit and the ethos of Off-White and Virgil Abloh. And I, I, I don't know, I like it. I, I don't even know why I like it, but I really like it. Now, the midsole says Nike Air Inner Space, you can see written there, and I'm not sure if that pertains to the soft feeling foam material that's making up this chunky midsole, or if that's something within the sneaker technology itself. I'll leave that to somebody like Nightwing on Wear Testers to tell us more about the technology, but you also do get visible air units in the sole of this shoe as well, so that's really dope. Taking a top down look at the shoe here, again, even the top down look is pretty busy. Now, starts pretty tame in the toe box here. You see more of that wood grain kind of design in the toe box with the mesh. You see, again, more of that rand here with the canvas. Moving up here, you have these interesting laces. They're pretty much like bungee cords, they remind me of. It's really giving hiking boot laces here. They're very sturdy, they're very, Thick, they're very durable and I like that a lot, but we gotta talk about the tongue here. The tongue of the shoe is basically comprised within two elements here. The first element or the outer element is this zippered shroud that's covering up the rest of the tongue here. And then of course the second element is this really big, really long, really pronounced tongue that actually is paying homage, I read, to the Air Jordan 6. According to the sneakers app, that was one of Virgil Abloh's favorite Air Jordan models. And so he wanted to pay homage to the Air Jordan 6 and it's exaggerated tongue with the holes in it by giving us this off-white exaggerated tongue that features the off-white swimming man logo. This of course being the right shoe and then of course you can see the rest of the off-white logo kind of on the left shoe here so when you put them both together it ends up looking really complete so that's really really nice. I actually like that touch. FYI the shroud is not removable so I don't know if you guys were interested in that or not but the shroud is actually stitched into the upper of the shoe so you cannot remove the shroud. You have to to have it on there, either zipped up or zipped down, however you wanna wear it. Now the inside of the shoe, the sock liner, it's really nice. It is a padded sock liner on the left and right portions of the shoe, so you are going to get that support for your ankle, which Lord knows you're going to need that with a shoe that is this heavy on your foot, but you are going to get that support inside, this really nice kind of Concord purple looking inner lining here, kind of matching that purple on the tongue, so very nice. Moving around to the back of the shoe here, I do wanna kind of emphasize the graffiti print that's on the heel of the shoe, kind of wrapping around. You guys can see it's a different kind of design than the wood grain that's on the underlay of the shoe. On the back of the shoe, and kind of going around to the medial side of the shoe as well, where you can see the terraforma kind of in that graffiti print here, it's really dope. It kind of gives a little splash of an homage almost to that Air Force One and even some of the Louis Vuitton models that we saw, the Louis Vuitton Air Force Ones, that had that graffiti print on it. So it feels like, once again, Virgil is incorporating a lot of the different things that he loves from other models as well. We've got graffiti in here. We have designer elements in here. We have all these different all-terrain elements in here. We got Jordan 6 inspiration. There's so many different pieces, even in the midsole. Let me get on that for just a second too. Even in the midsole, honestly, it reminds me of the numbered heel tabs on the 50 collection as well. If you guys remember on each one of those dunks, the little tag that had the number out of 50 on it was in that kind of marbled, different color looking element there. So we have kind of that same marbling that's in this shoe as well. So to me, I think that that's also part of the inspiration behind the shoe too. As I mentioned, the midsole of the shoe, very, very heavy, extremely durable. Like this is literally like hard as a rock. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that is like, you cannot push that in. You can't do nothing with that. These are very, very, very sturdy shoes, very durable shoes. These are ready to go hiking whenever you want to. Which brings us to the outsole of the shoe, and I had to put them both together. Of course, marbled print on the outsole of the shoe that says tread 
lightly. Now, apparently tread lightly is an homage to environmental consciousness, treating the earth well, treating the earth lightly, treating the earth with lots of conservatism and caring. But, you know, also it's interesting because you have a sneaker with pronounced spikes like this on the bottom that also says tread lightly, which is which is cool to me. It's kind of a play on that. But Again, tread lightly on the outsole with the signature spikes. In my opinion, I think that this sneaker was really kind of utilized and designed not just to be a hiking shoe, but really a shoe that you can pretty much wear anywhere. At least that's the vibes that I got with some of the other sneakers that had spikes on them, almost like the Air Force One. Spikes in the front, regular print in the back of the shoe as well. You could really kind of do anything and be ready for anything at all in that shoe. This shoe is giving me kind of the same element, but of course it's really leaning more into the boot and hiking element of this shoe. But I'll be honest with you guys, we're gonna see a lot of people probably rocking these casually on the street every day. And finally for the shoe on the insole, you have a black insole that has zero, zero, zero in the midfoot there towards the front. You have the Swimming Man logo on the heel of the shoe, but that's not all. Virgil wanted to make sure that he left his imprint even on the insole of the shoe. So on the back of the insole here, you have in his writing, Virgil was here, in quotes, of course. As far as accessories, you get the signature off-white tag here. This time it is white with that pink writing on there. It's really, really dope. Of course, it's off-white, so it's gotta have the zip tie on it. Very, very fly. And that's pretty much it when it comes to the Nike and Off-White Terra Forma by Virgil Abloh. His first original silhouette, but definitely not his last and definitely not the only colorway we have seen. This kind of beef and broccoli inspired colorway that personally I love. So I definitely wanna try to get my hands on those if I can, whenever they drop. So far, only this colorway has dropped, but I'm looking forward to getting that wheat kind of beef and broccoli colorway as well. But I don't know guys, I, I, I really like these shoes and I like them for so many different reasons. And I guess the main reason why I like them is because these shoes feel very personal. They feel like Virgil really took his time and wanted to make a sneaker that really spoke to him, spoke to his career, incorporated, like I mentioned, a lot of different elements of his career within one shoe. And I think that he knocked it out of the park low key. Listen, these shoes are not gonna be for everybody, right? Like, let's just get that out of the way now. These aren't for everybody. Everybody cannot wear these. Honestly, the people that I think are really gonna be able to pull these off are the people whose nickname is Ranch because they be dressing. <clears throat> I'm sorry, anyway. But no, these are really gonna be for people that really be putting it on like AB says in a song. Like, these are really gonna be for people not really doing a skinny jean. If y'all wear skinny jeans with these sneakers, I'm gonna tell you you're gonna look like those rappers from three years ago that were wearing those chunky Balenciaga sneakers. I wouldn't advise you do that, but I'm not a styling guy. I'm not a fashion guy. This is not a channel for that. But I will just say that you're gonna wanna really put something really unique on to go with this type of a sneaker that's obviously gonna be an attention grabber when you put it on your feet. But like I mentioned, this shoe really feels important and feels special, not just because of the shoe itself, but because of the packaging. So with the box of the sneaker, it comes in this oversized box, of course, because the sneaker itself is huge. By the way, I know the sneaker looks big, but it's literally a size nine. But what's interesting is that on the lid of this box, it says safety deposit box. So to me, right, of course, for Virgil putting this in there, a safety deposit box is a box that you put something inside of that means a lot to you. It's something of incredible value, right? Just like at a bank safety deposit box, you put your most valuable things and your most prized possessions inside of that box there. And so when you flip up the lid, of course, you have the off-white with the Swimming Man logo and the swoosh. Inside of the box here, it actually says this end up as well so you know which end it's supposed to go but again if the shoe box is called a safety deposit box that's telling me that the contents within that box mean a whole lot to the person that put it there and so these sneakers kind of embody that to me these sneakers really feel like there was something really really special for Virgil really really special for his team and for someone that already had a countless amount of collaborations and sneakers underneath his belt to be able to kind of meld a lot of those things together and mesh a lot of those things together for something that comes out looking like this I don't know, man, it just really speaks to his artistry. We've seen Virgil do this over and over again. We saw what he did with the Air Jordan 1 Chicago and how we turned the design world and the art world and the sneaker world on its ear. And we all know what that sneaker is worth these days. I'm not talking too much about resale. I understand that because the sneaker is jarring, it's not as aesthetically pleasing as something like an Air Jordan 1. It's not gonna be worth as much money as something like that or have as much hype as something like an Air Jordan 1. But I will tell you this, if you get this sneaker, 
you're not gonna be disappointed in it. Because if you bought this sneaker, especially for the toe, it means that you really appreciate all that went into it, you appreciate the artistry, and you really think that the sneaker is really, really dope. Even if you don't appreciate the artistry of it, it means that you see something in the shoe that's special, just like I do. This sneaker, definitely worth the pickup. I would definitely tell you guys to try your luck at this shoe when it drops. Virgil's first official silhouette, guys. I mean, it doesn't get no better than that. That's pretty much gonna do it for me with these guys. Now it's time for you guys to let me know down in the comments what you guys think about the Nike Air Terra Forma. Virgil Abloh's first official original silhouette with the brand. Are you guys feeling these? Are these a hard pass? Are these a must cop? I'm interested to hear what you guys think down in the comments below. Let me know. Of course, right down in the comments, make sure that you click on that subscribe button so we can welcome you into the Sneaker Fetish family to make sure you don't miss out on any more heat that comes through like these because I guarantee you, I got a lot more heat on the way. As always, I want to thank you guys for joining me here today on Sticker Fetish, taking a look at these with me, unboxing them with me for a couple of minutes. I go by the name of Kari. This is the Nike Air Terraforma by Virgil Abloh for Off-White. And until next time, I'm out.